So what brought you out to LA? Okay, so <clears throat> what brought me to LA was the dancing. Mm -hmm. So I came out here and I had this goal to make it onto this, uh, this scholarship program. It was at a school called the Edge Performing Arts Center. Um, and I, all of the alumni from my school came out and they would do the auditions and then make this Edge Scholarship program move out here. It was like a year, year long program, super intensive. And then afterwards, you usually get signed on with an agent and start working. So that was always the goal. Uh, I didn't do well in school, um, barely graduated school. I think I graduated because I had great relationships with all of my like teachers and counselors, you know, um, not, but I was never a, in high school, you're in high school. I was never a bookie mm -hmm. person. You know, I was failing most of my classes. <laughs> um, but so, so with that being said, I was just like, I put all my eggs in one basket. I was like, I'm not going to college because I barely passed high school. I don't know what I want to do. All I want to do is dance. Um, I'm not good at school, like book work. I, I just, I, I just don't like school. I want to go to LA. So my mom and dad said, okay, you can go to LA. However, we're not financially supporting you. You go to LA, you make it happen. And I was like, okay. So I worked, I saved, I went and I came out here to do the edge scholarship auditions. I stayed. How much money did you save to come out? Uh, I worked for a year. I had two jobs. Okay. Um, for a year. Yep. I moved out of my parents' house cause they lived really far from my two jobs. And I mm. moved into the basement of my grandparents' house. Mm. Um, cause they, right after, right when I turned 18, like I was financially me, you know? So, uh, I had two jobs. I lived in my, my grandparents' basement and I saved $9,000. So $9,000 was what I saved in a year to come to LA. So I came to LA. I met a girl here who wanted to do the scholarship program. It was like the summer before the audition. So the, the auditions were at the end of the summer. So I came out here, I met a girl and she was like, Hey, like she was a scholarship alumni. So I linked up with her and she was like, and I told her I wanted to do the scholarship program and I was going to come out here, train for a couple of weeks and go home and then come back for auditions. And she was like, well, you should just stay on my couch and you should just train all summer. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, so I stayed on this girl's couch um, and that's all I did. I just trained at the edge all summer long. At the end of the summer, I did the auditions. I had developed really good relationships with all of the uh, scholarship teachers. Mm -hmm. And they were like, man, we're so excited to have you on scholarship. Like this is gonna be such a good year. Like we're so excited, da, 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 da. And then I do the auditions, I didn't make it. I get on the list at midnight and my name was not on the list. And I. You're look, look, looking for your name. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember you look again. <laughs> and I was like, hold on a second. Like, this has been what I've been trying to pursue since I was, you know, like 16, 17 years old. And I'm like, my name's not on this list. And I remember I called my dad at midnight. He was in Colorado. And I was just like, I, di I didn't make it. I didn't make it. I don't know why I, all the teachers said they were so excited to have me. I was like, why didn't I, why didn't I make it? And my dad was just like, I don't know why you have to decide, you know, maybe you can set up a meeting with the directors of it, which I did. And he, and I was like, but dad, I don't know what to do. Like I've, I worked two jobs, had it saved all my money to be here and I didn't make it. And he was like, well, what are you going to do about it? And I was like, well, I'm crying. It's midnight. I'm, I'm in some stranger's house. I was like, I don't know. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to come out here anyways. I'm going to move out to LA anyways. And so I set up a meeting, you know, with the directors of the program. And that guy's like a schmuck. He was a schmuck. I'm not going to go into his schmuckness, but. Um, the director. Of yeah, the of the school. And he just gave me some runaround nonsense, but. Anyways, I went home, packed a suitcase, reached out to some people. Things that, that you can't met. control, right? Yeah, it was things just, that you can't you can't control. Yeah, but things you can't control, you're yeah. taking control. Yeah, and uh, it what you know, I, I I couldn't control that, and but what I could do is I went home, I packed two suitcases, you know, I had made connections from my summer being here, couch hopping, <clears throat> and a girl that I knew was like, hey, I just moved into this one bedroom apartment in Sherman Oaks. I'm going to, I just got booked on tour 